Okay. Um, well, we continue with uh, Kanoi and Pogenball's self-defense, and uh, this week's parsha offers a new dimension that will interplay with all this, and that's the Ochs of Gol Adam. And, uh, yeah. Does the Rotsiach uh, Pishkog have the right of self-defense against the Gol Adam? Uh, these are the issues we're going to tackle tonight. Uh, <clears throat> I just want to uh, refer back to the very, very last point that we mentioned last week. Uh, you know, we were dealing with a question that we're going to deal with uh, again tonight, you know, about the, um, you know, Zimri's right to uh, kill Pinchas in self-defense, even while he's with Cosby. Uh, so we, we spent a considerable amount of time dealing with the, uh, the classical question that the later Achronim asked, how do we know that... Uh, to uh, you know, uh, the, the, Torah, the right that the Torah gave you to defend yourself even at the expense of the life of the one who's pursuing you is only if Eino Yochel Lahat Sil Bechad Me'evorov, right, uh, that, uh, <clears throat> that you're not able to maim him, to uh, get him off your back and get yourself out of danger, right? But uh, if maiming is a possibility, then you're not allowed to kill so, the, like we said, we dealt with this already uh, for two weeks running. You know, the big kash that the Achronim have is like this. All right, the Gemara says that Zimri could have defended himself against Pinchas, but I, uh, Zimri is a yochol lahatzil bechad me'evorov, because he could simply pull out of Cosby, and then Pinchas is not allowed to kill him. Uh, so why does, uh, so why does, why is Zimri allowed to kill uh, Pinchas? So there is a... <coughs> There's a, there are a few, a few different schools of thought on this, right? But uh, the two major schools of thought, you know, categorically, is that because of this kasha, there are those that uh, learn out that there's a chiluk between the rights of self-defense of the Nirdaf, the one who's actually being threatened, as opposed to the chi of Hatzala of a third party intervening. And there are those that mikoch this kasha and other kashas want to say that since... Zimri is uh, the Nirdaf, his life is being threatened. He doesn't have to be Yochol Lahatzil Bechar The Nirdaf could take a life straight away. It's only the third party that has to, uh, you know, uh, that has a chiyuv to make a cheshben, uh, whether he could just shoot at the legs or he has to mamish take the life of the Raidaf. <clears throat> Uh, but then there's others that uh, say that there is no chiluk. Uh, so by the way, on this, there is a rivash and a Mishnah Lamech that pask in that way. Uh, you know, and, uh, and, and one of their rice is this Gemara of you know, Zimri and Pinchas. You know, Zimri could have just pulled out. And, uh, and the Gemara says he could still kill Pinchas. Uh, <clears throat> but there are others that hold that, no, no, there, there is no chiluk. There is no chiluk and there's no difference between the Nirdaf and a third party. You always have to try to uh, maim before kill, right? If you, if there's the uh, reasonable time to make the cheshbon, so uh, from that latter school of thought, we spoke out a few tirutim of why Z- still Zimri was allowed to kill Pinchas, right? So the, the, what's uh, the last point that we mentioned, which is uh, the uh, the most logical ironclad logic, is that uh, is that the idea of yochol lahatzil be'echad me'evorov is not the pshat like most people think that so long as you could avoid taking a life, then you have to avoid taking a life. Because if that's true, this was what we, the last point we ended with last week, right? A guy holds a gun to your head, and he says, give me a million dollars or I'll shoot you. And you have the million dollars. You have the million dollars, right? So, so maybe, right? You should have to give him the million, but the only alternative is to kill him. Right? The only way, uh, the only other way to get out of it is to kill him. You either give him a million dollars or you kill him. Right? You know, maiming is not, uh, yeah. Right? You can't maim him. Right? You can kill him. Right? So, Yala uh, Adas, that because of the din of Yacholatzil Bechamei Verb, you have to give him a million dollars because you have to avoid taking a life at all, at all costs. So then, you know, uh, you're saying the person could blackmail you, you know, arm infinitum, and you'd be high to give in to his demands. Right? If the only other way to get out of it is by killing him. He gave you a way out. You could give him the money that he wants. You give him whatever he's blackmailing you or uh, coercing you to do. So on this, Shmuel Rozovsky asked his grandfather, and this was the last point he mentioned last week, he asked this child to his grandfather, who was a big rub in Lita, and he said, no, that, that's, that's not the din of Yocholatzu Bechamevra. It's, it's like this. 
Right? Once a person holds a gun to you, the right of self-defense kicks in louder, immediately. Right? But now the right of self-defense has a range. Right? If you get by, you, know, and you, understand, you have to understand the, the enormousness of the chiddush, of rights of self-defense. I could violate his personal space, and I could you know, really harm him, something which is generally also to do to another yid. And Torah gave us just to beat him up, you know, and do anything up to ad, you know, taking his life ad vad bechlau, if need be. <coughs> but it, it's so, the din of Yochot is not the pshat, you have to avoid taking life. That's not the pshat. The pshat is, you could immediately do him harm if he's threatening you. And, and if, if minimal harm is enough, why do you have to do more harm? Right? But you don't have to give in to his insane demands. You could totally ignore his demands. Right? <laughs> Most probably it's like a category of above a terrace. That you don't know what the guy's really going to do. He's a gun. Okay, no, they, they don't mention that for but, uh, but even if we were trusted, now, now, now Shmorozovsky takes us to very, very uh, great extremes. Even if he is holding a gun on you to stop you from doing an iser, like, he's, don't eat your Yom Kippur, don't eat or I'll shoot you. Right? It's trade, don't eat or I'll shoot you. Even then, says Shmorozovsky, <coughs> maybe his grandfather, his grandfather gave a psak. Right? The guy has no right to threaten your life, and you don't have to give in. See, if he's trying to be kai for you uh, to do something that's mutter. He was trying to be kai for you to not do an iser. Right? You, a guy holds a gun on you, you could take him out. You take him out right away. So here's the thing that I forgot to speak out last week. Uh, now, where Shmorosovsky is troubled by is like this. Let's say he holds a gun to you and he says, he's a masochist. Punch me in the face or I kill you. Yala Adas, I don't have to give in to his crazy demands and punch him in the face, so I'll kill him. You understand the... Right? Right? That, that's, that's the problem that he ends up with the Tzorach here. Right? I don't have to give in to his crazy demands, right? And I could you know, kill him, right? Or maim him. But all he wants is a punch in the face. Right? Right, I don't have to, right? right? Yeah, but I don't have to give in to what he wants. Right? He can't manipulate me. Right? Uh, so, so, so the ulterior, the so the uh, so okay, good. So, so he, so yes. Step one, lo yal das. That's migra gara. Just because he wants it, so called yochat Just because he wants it, I have to. But here's the thing that bothers him, right? <coughs> the all he wants is a punch in the face, right? And if you don't, the only other way you can get out of it is by cutting off his arm, right? Or killing him, right? And so, am I chayev? So let's say cutting off the arm. Am I chayev to punch him in the face because that'll let him go? Or you know, <laughs> I exercise right to do so. It's more tircha, more tircha for me, and more damage for them. But I feel lucky. So okay, you know, uh, you know. So maybe if the punch in the face is is called yochal mevar. But let's say I could take out the other aver. Right? He wants a slap across the right cheek, right? And I, uh, and I deck him, you know, with a, you know, a hook to the jaw, right? Uh, that I did more than what he asked for, you know, I did more than, you know, you know, give him greater harm, right? But the other way is giving in to his demands, right? That, that, that's what bothers him, right? If you get him off your back by doing him minimal harm, which happens to be what he wants, but that's what he's trying to force you to do, for right reasons, he's crazy, right? You know, I, I don't want to be manipulated, and he has no right to threaten me. So I'm going to do him more harm, more harm to his person, because he should have manipulated than what he, Sachako, demanded from me. Right? That, that's where, you know, he libs Tzorach Il. Now, you understand that story, you know, uh, right? All right, is there, are there even Madregas in Yocholat, Silo Bechad Meivorov, that you could do a minimal damage, you know, you could, you know, just slap him and he'll walk away, or you know, the other alternative is you have to cut off his arm. All right? On the one hand, I don't want to be manipulated. I don't want to be manipulated. I don't have to be manipulated. I don't have to listen to anything he says. But, yeah. Yes. That's the same question. It's the same question, right? Yeah, but you know, he wanted the, you know, but the Yisraeli was built is you don't have to give in to a person's demands. Midin yachol atzil bechamayvar, 
All right, so that's, the, that's where he bleibs schwer on this last Likud. And you, you said it very well. He wants you just to do him minimal bodily harm. Right? That's all he wants to manipulate you to do. But I don't have to give him to his manipulation. He can't even, like we said, he can't even demand Zimri to pull out of Cosby. He's got no right to demand anything. Even to do what the Torah wants, he has no right to demand of you. And that's why, he says, Zimri was allowed to kill Pinchas. It's not called Yochel Atzibachavarov because you know, Zimri could pull out of Cosby. Because that's, uh, that's not the din of Yochot Yodorov, that I have to give him to his demands. Yochot Yodorov is that when I do him harm, if I could use smaller force, rather than bigger force, that's what I'd do. But you can't make me do something and expect me to do it. Bindin, Yochot Yodorov, Yochot Yodorov. Okay, that was just to complete this. The last Sarachin of Shmorozovsky leaves off. So now, the Chazanish didn't hold of this. And this also comes, we begin now crossing over between the circuits we've been learning thus far and the sugi of Gol Adam that comes in in this week's Parsha, and there is an interesting interplay. I want to start with the uh, Chazonish that you have in your handouts. The, it starts at the very bottom of <coughs> the first page. There's two pages stuck together, right? He says like this, a very interesting Chazonish. Reish la'ayin, lamad amrinan, de zimri, shargol pinchas energlav, mishum shu Right. So Right. So now even like right. Even like what the Mishnah Melch says, right, that uh, the Rivash, right, that those that hold that by the near death himself, he doesn't have to be Yacholatu Bechad Meivorov. He could go straight for the kill, right, and uh, Zimri was the near death. He'd go straight for the kill, and just like he doesn't have to try to main Pinchas, he also doesn't have to pull out a Cosby, right? Fine. So, I know Mishum Shu Torah Benafsho Nicha, right? So that, that's only because he's Torah bin Nafsho, so the Chazanish doesn't buy it, and it says like this, right? You know, Zimri is not Torah bin Nafsho, like the original Rivash that laid down this Yesod, which not everyone agrees to, like we said, right? That the Nirdaf could go straight for the kill, right? There's a slur to that, because he's, you know, you know, he can't take aim, because he's very, very, you know, shaken up, right? <laughs> Zimri could pull out. It's not so much Tirda, right? So you recall there were other Tirutsim to that. We mentioned the uh, Chalkas Yoav. He's not out to pull out because the Avera is Yaharik Val Yavor, so he can't pull out the same side, as you might recall. You invoke the Kli Chemda that says he's so Yitzra Al Bashay, he won't pull out. The Yitzra has gotten the better of him already. But the Chazush doesn't buy that, it says, Enachinami, he should have pulled out. So listen to what the Chazush is there for Paskins, right? Lefize <clears throat> Imharak Zimri as Pinchas. Nerag ayedei gol hadam shtadu posheya dahayo lifrosh velo laro. Therefore, paskin is the chazanish. That that's which pin, that Zimri doesn't get killed, right? It, that's, you know, that's midin, the Rambam that you have in your source sheet. And matter of fact, he's turning this Gemara into a makor for a very famous Rambam that's a little bit schwer. Now, the Rambam, we mentioned this already in the first session, is mechalik between Yochel Atzil Becha Meivarov by Yidin in Jewish law versus no hide law. Hilchos Bnei Noach. And in the uh, source sheet, you know, we have these two Rambams in short. The Rambam on top, you know, Kol Yochel Atzil Becha Meivar Meivarov, Velo Torch Bekach, El Hilchel Benafsha Shorev, Vahargo, Hareze Shofech Domim, Vechayev Misa, Avo Ein based in Meimisen also. The Rambam Paskin, right, by a regular Jew, you know, and you did it. You are a Shofech Domim, but there's no Misas Bezdin. You know, the, uh, you know it, it's uh, a little bit questionable where did the Rambam get that from, right, because it's seemingly the same Gemara for all, as opposed to the Rambam down the sheet by uh, Bnei Noach. Ben Noach, Sharag Benefesh, I feel Uber Meimo. Now, Gav, that's why, you know, we have to defund Planned Parenthood. Because by them, it's mamish retzicha gemura in Hilchus Bnei Noach. In our responsibility of being or la'amim, you know, we must defund Planned Parenthood, right? By their dinim, even gram retzicha, or even killing a trefa, 
right, is Ratzicha Gemura and Hilchos Bnei Noach. V'cheinim horak roidef shechol atzil be'echad me'evorav ne'ragalav mashe'en kein b'Yisrael. Right, no, but if he also, a, a, a Ben Noach that's being nirdaf by another Ben Noach, if he could have been matzil be'echad me'evorav and he didn't, he's ne'rag, he gets executed. He gets, you know, they in their dinim have to execute the guy who was Yochel Atzil and then. Masha'en came be so Rambam reiterates that it's not halacha by Yidin. By us, it's just Chayv Misa Bidei Shamayim. <coughs> right, so, uh, so the Chazish is saying like this. Really, really, you know, he's taking the Gemara very literally when you think about what he's doing. You know, that Nefach Zimri, the Hargo, right? Le Pinchas Eino Nerag, Shai Rodefu. He said, Eino Nerag. Because Zimri's Jewish and Pinchas is Jewish. He was a Yocholatu Bechameivorov, but ain't no Nera. There's no Misas Bezdin by Yocholatu Bechameivorov. It's just a Chi of Misa Bidei Shemai. But Zimri is Taka in the wrong. And since he's in the wrong, right, Pinchas' next of kin could kill Zimri Midin Gol Adam, says the Chazmish. Makes the Chazmish. Because any time there's any element of wrongness to the killing, Unless it's mamish oynes gomor or self-defense, mamish, right? The goladam's out to kill you. Anything from anything from shogeg and to korov mezid, you know, even mezid mamish, you know, the goladam has first crack to kill a rotzech mezid. If there's any element of wrongness to the death, right, the goladam has rights of revenge. So once the time of the chazanish, the enachinami, if zimri would have been nefach the hargo le penchas without being pirish. From Cosby, and the Chinami should have been. It was, and and he because he's Yochel Atzu Becher Meivar. He did it. So Eino, he wants to tell all the Gemara members Eino Nerak. Period. Not that what Zimri did was right. It's Eino Nerak because we don't give Misas Bezdin in Dine Yisrael on Yochel Atzu Becher Meivar. Chayv Misa Klape Shemaim. But he's Chayv Misa Klape Shemaim. He's in the wrong. He's in the wrong. So Pinchas is Gol Adam can kill Zimri. Half of the Gechesh, meaning if you if you accept the Gechesh of the Chazanish, that really Zimri, uh, wa, you know, Pinchos is, you know, Zimri was a Yocholatu Becha Meivarov, right? And he didn't kill Pinchos anyway, so Pinchos' Goladam could take out Zimri. Nice. Uh, it's very interesting that, you know, but that's if you, of course, uh, you buy it that uh, Zimri is called a Yocholatu Becha Meivarov by pulling out of Cosby. <coughs> Now, speaking of the Mishnah of Melech, you know, the, uh, and speaking of Gol Adam also, so you take a look at the Asaga Saraivid, Oma Avram Kashele Abner, like we said, you know, this Rambam that's Meiko by Dine Yisroh, that by Dine Yisroh, a Yochol Atu Bechame Vrov does not get Misas Bez, it's just Chayv Misa Bidei Shemayim. But by Bnei Noach, uh, that is not the case. Which, by the way, it's also, we wish the cops have to wear body cams, absolutely, you know, and every time a cop kills, yeah, you know, supposedly self and the blue lives matter. Blue lives matter. Yeah, uh, but you know, they have to, they're hive to be done on every case where a cop killed. You know, whether it was mamish, you know, uh, not only in self defense bechlal, but was whether yocholatzel becha meivarav or not, because in their dinim, that's a capital offense. Right. <clears throat> so now the uh, the rivet over here is masig. That where where did the Rambam get this chilik from? That there is a difference between. Jews and Goyim, as far as Yochalatu Bechamei Vorav, seemingly the drosha, you know, that it's learned, it's all the same drosha for, you know, all Dine Ritzicha. <coughs> so it says the right, the Kashele Avner, Ravner, the, the right, it's invoking a Gemara, famous Gemara, you know, that uh, Amasa tried to kill Yoav. Amasa was one of Dabra Malaf's nephews, right? And we uh, tried to kill Abner ben I meant to say. Abner ben was quite a gibor, and even with being on the run, he threw a spear, right? And, uh, you know, and, and it hit, you know, in the fifth rib, and, and it took out Amasa. Subsequently, Yoav, Amasa's brother, kills Abner, and, uh, and uh, so uh, he was tried by Shlomo Amalek, you know, like uh, David Amalek, uh, you know, demanded that uh, Shlomo Amalek take him to account on this. And then the Gemara says that he, uh, you know, he, uh, he had a good time to the Sanhedrin. He said that he killed Avner Midin Gol Adam. <coughs> and so he said, but no, Avner was a Nirdaf. What do you mean? He says, no, because Avner was a Yochol Hatzilo Bechad Meivorov. 
right? He was such a gibor and he had such great aim. He was able to be machab to the feet. And so if he had such great aim, he could have aimed higher, he could have aimed lower, right? And the Sanhedrin seemingly <coughs> accepted, accepted the time, right? Which is a raya against the Rambam, seemingly, right? That Yochol uh, Lahatzil Bechad Me'evrov does not make you a Ben Misa. Right? The Rambam says, Yochol Bayidin, doesn't make you a Ben Misa. Yochol said, I killed him because of the Yochol Lahatzil Bechad Me'evrov. So the, the, the Mishamach Afinor of Yer says a very simple terex to this kasha to arrive at. Yov is a gol adam. A gol adam is not giving you misas bezdin. The Torah gave gol adam rights of revenge whenever there's any element of wrongness to the death. So if you tell me, that's wrong, right? So of course the gol adam could kill you. So the kusha mi It's a brilliant, simple and brilliant terex of the Mishamach. <clears throat> so speaking of Mishnah Melechs, uh, please take a look at the next source sheet, an interesting topic of the Mishnah Melech that the Chaznish deals with in Hilchos Rotzeach, the, uh, is by Halacha Tesvav. And this also crosses over yet again to Zimri and Pinchas, we just can't get away from it. Nistapakti. Right, it's a Right, you could save and you didn't. You know, the guy who the the, the New Yorker, the bystander, just let you know, let crime happen. Right, it's a, it's, a, it's you know, over on the kam of a kam of mitzvahs, the round counts one. So he says like this: Nistapakti berotzech bishkaga, sheishu shusagadam lahargo. So what would be the din? A guy killed Bishogay in a manner that, okay, he's toast in the hands of the Gol Adam. Vim nisamets <coughs> ha-rotzeach v'horgodam. Now the Rotzeach, in self-defense, killed the Gol Adam. Im <coughs> neragolav. So what's the din of the Rotzeach? He killed in self-defense, but the, but the Gol Adam's allowed to kill him. Now, you know, a guy who's being taken out from Misa's Bezdin, right, um, you know, that, that guy has no right of self-defense, right? So now the gold arms are out to kill him, right? Does the Rotzeach have the right of self-defense? So let's listen to the way uh, the Mishnah Melch Paskins. I'm, you know, I want to say, you know, he says misvara. We're going to see that the Chaznish argues. <coughs> um... All right, the, he says like this. If the Rotzeach killed the Godam in self-defense, the Rotzeach will not get executed for that. You know, the Godam's kin, you know, he killed Bishoyim, right? But now he killed the Godam Bemezid. He's not going to get Misa's Besson for that. The Smach Dover Zimri. I'm bringing my riot from Zimri. The Amri no Nefach Zimri Vargla Pinchas E Naragalov. Right, that, you know, Zimri, you know, Pinchas had the right to kill him. So Pinchas, the Kanoi, is like the Gol Adam. In both cases, the Torah gave them Roshus, but not an obligation to kill. Right? We had this uh, last week, the Rosh, that, you know, Zimri, you know, Pinchas' permission, it's only Roshus, it's not Chova. Right? And that's why, you know, and that's why Zimri has the right of self-defense. Right? So now, now we don't, we don't, we don't, we, Rabbi, we pass like Rabbi Akiva, I believe, that it's not a mitzvah biad go adam, it's only a rishus. So he wants to set up an equation, the Mishnah Melch. Mistoma, you know, the, the din of gol adam is the same type of din as kanoim pogimbo. It's a rishus, but it's not a chiv. Right? So, right, matter of fact, everyone knows the sugya is that, you know, he's, he's escorted by two tamedi chacham to try to talk the gol adam out of it. Right? You know, it's, you know, it's not, uh, you know, it's not a nice thing to do if, uh, if you could control yourself. <coughs> so he says like this. So Zimri, Damri, Nefach, Zimri, Rog, Pinchas, Enerov. V'adayin ain biyori raya mechrachas lezeh. But he says, you know, he's not confident in the raya. But he's saying, Misvara, that should be the case. That if Zimri is allowed to defend himself against Pinchas, the Rotzeach Peshkaga should be allowed to defend himself against the Gol Adam. Because the, their dispositions to kill are very much the same. They're Roshus and not Chovah. Right? <clears throat> um, 
וכן הסתפקתי, יש another suffix over here, ברודף אחר חבר לא הורגו, וכן רודף אחר עבר, שאיתן להצילו בנפשו, אם נשאר מצה רודף, והורג עשה מצהו, אם נהרג עליו. How about this? You know, the, the Roydef is running after a Nirdaf, whether, you know, whether the Nirdaf is, uh, he wants to take his life, or whether the Nirdaf is really arise, and we know that you're allowed to also abort a rape of Chayve Mises, Chayve Krisis, or a Zohar, right, uh, you know, with Afilu Benafsho. So let's say, you know, as the Roydef is running after the Nirdaf, whatever he wants to do to the Nirdaf, Right? The Rodif instead turns around and shoots the Matsu. And then he stops. You know, and then you know, he's, you know, he's gotten it out of his system for the day. Right? Right? So he's, he's waiting to go home. Right? And uh, so now, you know, so now the, you, will he get Misa's best in? I mean, the Matsu was trying to kill me. He was trying to kill me. It was self defense. Right? <clears throat> so on this, the, the Mishamach says, uh, Dvorim, you know, uh, you know you know, which are very, very hagunim, you know, and, uh, you know, very, very mistaber. Near the be'elu neragalav. No, over there, this is different. Over there, you know, that, you know, on this second shaila, right, I, I'm going to pass it that, yes, the, the roidef will get me suspended for killing the matzil, right? Because, uh, because it's not dominant, because you understand where he's coming from. He's, the roidef is like Zimri. Zimri's allowed to kill Pinchas, right? The Rodef Domo Hutar Lamatzil, and yet the, uh, just like, you know, Domo of Zimri's Mutar, so he's making, he's working the equation now the other way. He set up Pinchas like the Gol Adam, right? He's setting up now, uh, you know, he's setting up uh, the, uh, the Rodef like, the Rodef is like Zimri. There's a head turn to kill him, right? But he's allowed to defend himself against the one who wants to kill him, right? <clears throat> so maybe the Rodef also is allowed to defend himself against the one who wants to kill him. All right, but he says, no, there is a chilek. <coughs> All right. The lekom mitzvah gabe pinchas el rush. The new day beu neglav the dark with gabe zimmer. The lekom mitzvah gabe pinchas el rush. So some real nebach zimmer v'har gol of pinchas eno nerag. Avor v'chaver rachar ver the ikom mitzvah latzilo. Because Rabbeinu im hara greater for matzil nerag alav. All right, uh, all right, it brings all the rise that the, uh, you know, the, it, there's a simple chilek, right? You know, you know uh, Z- Pinchas did not have an obligation to kill Zimri. And that was Mamash the Lush and Rosh He didn't have an obligation. He was able to kill Zimri, right? And therefore, Zimri has the right of self-defense because Rosh Hashanah not Chova. The Matzil has a real obligation, Chi of Gomor, to try to be matzil, a filo benafsho of the roidev. So the roidev can't say, hey, this guy's trying to kill me. He's doing what he's chayev to do, mamash mechayev to do. Pinchas is doing a rishus, right? Whereas the matzil's doing a chayev, and therefore he paskins, you know, and he says, kachetz and mashu from the Rambam, that if the rotzer turns, or the uh, roidev turns around to kill the matzil, he will get misas bezden for killing the matzil, because the matzil was doing what he was chayev to do. Right, and therefore, he really does not have the right of self-defense against someone who's trying to kill him. Bechiv, Pinchas only killing out of rishos. <coughs> um, okay. So now, uh, then he quotes the Rabbi Rucham, which actually says the same lashanis of his Rebbe the Rosh that we learned last week. But the Chazanish argues on this Mishnah Lamelech. You take a look in the on the same sheet of the Chazanish. The um, Let me find it one second. Okay, yeah, and the, in the Sif Cotton Gimel, you know, it's on the first page. Kosovo Mishra Melech, Perakal Milchsotzea Alocha Tesvav. Derotzech Bishkoga, Shiotzamir Miklato, Uba Go Adam Lahargo, Vishkimar Otzech Vargo Go Adam. Potur kedin zimri shorag lepinchas. Right, that's you know, that was the, the way the Mishnah Malach Paskin. He says it's misvara. He doesn't have a raya muchrachas, but you know mistama. Right, because you know the because the goladam is a birushus and not bechayva. Right, and just like pinchas is birushus and not bechayva. 
So seemingly, you know, the Gol Adam is not better than Pinchas, because uh, the din of Gol Adam is Rashus. <coughs> uh, so he argues the Chazush. Over there, that's a special halacha of Moshe Misinai. It's a special halacha over there, and we cannot learn from there. We cannot learn out from the rights of self defense that Zimri had. Uh, to extrapolate it to say a Rotzeach Pishkoga also would have the rights to defend himself against the Gol Adam. Shara'imaya Pinchas Roydev, Haya Bedin Shakolavam Shahar Potter. He says, look, look at the other side of the coin. If Pinchas was a real, real, real Roydev, right, then anyone could kill Pinchas. Right? Not just Zimri. Right? So that's the rush we learned together last week, uh, that we know that that's not the Din. Right? Only Zimri himself has right of self-defense. Right? Elevada ain't no road if achar nevesh. Adarabba, mitzvah covet. Like Lama said, even though it's only a roshos, it's for a mitzvah. It's a mitzvah. He's doing a, you know, tachas asher kine lekavei chapra b'nei Yisrael. It is for a mitzvah. So even though it's not a chiyuv, but it's a mitzvah. Right? <coughs> Just not, the mitzvah is not obligatory. Right? himself. So, like anyone else, you know, he's listening to what the Chazush is coming from. Anyone else watching from the side has to ask himself: Is Pinchas doing something good or is he doing something bad? Right? So even though it's only a rishus, but it's for the mitzvah. Right? So he's doing something good. So I, as the bystander, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay off. I'm not going to interfere with what Pinchas is doing. Right? Zimri, who himself is the near enough, he doesn't have to make this cheshman as Pinchas doing something good or something bad. Right? He, he's allowed to defend himself. Right? He only has to let himself go if it was a chi of gomor on Pinchas. Not a chi of Right? Right, so I'm saying, you know, there's, you know, so the fact that it's a mitzvah beyond Pinchas, right? It's a, something positive, right? That's why the the third party has to stay out of it and let Pinchas go through with it, right? But Zimri doesn't have to make such chesh bonus. Is he doing something right or is he doing something wrong? You know, to Zimri, it's just you know, must I die? Must I not die? I don't have to die. It's not a chiv. I'm allowed to defend myself. So the, the, the onlooker just asks, is Pinchas doing something good, something bad? Right? The guy who's about to be the victim. Of Pinchas Kanos has just is this as must this be? Does it have to be? It doesn't have to be. Is it mukhrak or is it not mukhrak? If it's not mukhrak, I could defend myself, right? But the third party whose life is not being threatened, yes, you know, who's doing the right thing? Who's doing the wrong thing? Who's doing the right thing? Right? So therefore, says the Chazanish. All right, I will be gol adam, but as a gol adam, the love mitzvah kaavid. Right? He is not doing a mitzvah, you know, kerodef, kerodef acherim, right? Nami, the halo of it mitzvah klau. Right? So now go Adam is not doing a mitzvah. So let's, so let's, let's make it worse before we make it better. Right? Because only Rashus be go Adam. Anyone, like if a person would be a go Adam, no one would like put it on his tombstone, tachas asher kine Right? It's not something positive. Right? But Pilsen is positive. So the God Adam, what he's doing is not positive. It's just the Torah, you know, is permitted it. Right? Permitted. Right? So wait a minute. So Kushal right? Why isn't the God Adam a Raidif that anyone could kill him? So what's the answer to that? Right? Because the God Adam is even less than the Kanoi. Kanoi, it's a mitzvah, but it's a Rushus. God Adam, it's just a Rushus and not even a mitzvah. Right? So why isn't that Allah that anyone could kill the Gol Adam to save the guy who Sachakol did it Why is that not the din? We know it's not the din. Right? No one is allowed to, uh, you know, is allowed to take out the Gol Adam. You know, like, uh, like you know, the Gemara says they send two Tamei Chacham to beg him not to do it. Like uh, Chazish writes elsewhere on this page, you know, if it would be a din, he could stop it. He should send you know armed guards. <laughs> two Tamei Chacham. These guys can't punch their ways out of a paper bag. Right? They're going to reason with him. They'll, they'll talk him out of it. Well, am I? Because, you know, it, that, that's all they're allowed to, because, you know, the Torah gave him Rashus. But it is the wrong thing to do, right? Because you want them, you want to talk him out of it, right? And, but if that's all it is, that, you know, it's Tama Rashus, right? It's not even a mitzvah. Why can't anyone taka kill the Gol Adam? So what has to be the answer to that? <coughs> so, and by the way, the Briskorov says the same Yisod. And he says like this, the answer has to be like this. 
Now, the Torah worded by Golad, I believe in this week's parsha, ain't low dummy, right? So the pshat is that the Torah avoided, you know, the value of life of the Rotzeach Pishkoga. He is, he's got no blood. Similar to the Lushen that the Torah says about by Barba Machteris. Ain't low dummy. The Cholodom ain't chayolav, right? And no one else also. That's the halacha. Everyone knows that in Goldam it's Roshos, but also someone else killed the Rotech uh, Peshkara, also ain't there Rogan Olav. Right? Because the Torah, as it were, voided the value of his life. You know, for lack of a better word, you know, no way to Ain't no dummy. Right? The, same, the Torah used the same notion in this week's part by Rotech Peshkara when Goldam kills him, as it does by Bob Machters. Ain't no dummy. The man's life, the man is a walking corpse. And that's why, even if a third party killed the Rotzech Bishkaga, he also doesn't get Misas Bezdin on that. Right? Ain't lo dumin. So long as he's, he's, of course, talking about outside of Ir Miklod. In Ir Miklod, he's protected. Midin the Mokum. V'chol ben chalav. Ain't so ain't lo schut laro gacherim. V'dino krotzech. If you're a walking corpse, right? You have no right to kill anybody else. Everyone else is better than you are. Right? Because you're a dead man. Right. Even further. When I said, you know, the, what he said in the last sentence, ain't lo dumin, that's after a psaktin, that bezdin paskins on him, horek nefesh pishkaga. Right? He gets that chalos din, and the briskorov says the same thing in the stencils. When he gets that psak, he's like a walking corpse. That psak makes him toast. And that's why it immediately kicks in this halacha that Lomi by the Goladam could kill him if he's outside of Yeramiklat. Anyone could kill him. You know, anyone, it's not the right thing to do. But if they do, Eon Eraglat. But you know, it's not the halacha Bahali Choso. Initially, when anyone kills Bishkaga, as we learned in this week's Pasha, you run. Step one is to just run. Then they bring him back under armed guard, Taka under armed guard, armed escort, to Bezdin to stand trial. And then they, with Adem, they try to uh, determine the circumstances. And if it meets the criteria of Harag Nefesh Bishkaga, or worse, you know, or worse, as opposed to Oynes, right? So then he gets a psak of uh, Harag Nefesh Bishkaga. And with that, you know, he's ain't low dummy. So says the Chazanish, but we know that on the Bahali Chasa, when he initially runs to uh, Ir Miklot, that's not Allah, because he didn't get a psak yet. Over there, the Gol Adam is just Potter. Right, because ki yicham levavo, like we learned this week's part, he just can't control his anger. So the Torah took that into account. But everyone else who kills him on his initial trip to Ari Miklat, right, does get killed. Call Adam Chayavan love. So how about in this scenario, right, of, you know, Bahali Chaso, when he initially runs, immediately after the murder happens, can he defend himself against the goal? Adam, he didn't get a psak yet. So Kharesh wants to say, even then, <coughs> even when Kol Adam Chayov Malav, and he's not worthless, he's not a walking corpse, right? Afal PK, he has no right of self defense against the Rotseach. Eno Din Roy Defle Gabi Rotseach, Vim Hargo Rotseach Neherag Olav. Right? So now he doesn't say a reason. Now I think the, uh, you know, he points out that there's room for a Chilak. He doesn't say why the chilk is not a chilk. The chilk's unbelievable, right? Hari Bali Chasa, when he initially runs, call Adam Chayab and love. And, you know, the Gaul Adam is just walks on a technicality. He can't control his anger. It's before he got a psak of Horg Nefesh Bishkaga, and that's when Eilo Damin. Rather, Chazer wants to say, Afilu Bali Chasa, he has no right of self defense against the Gaul Adam. How do you understand it? I don't understand it. He's aware of the chilk, and he says the chilk's not machak, even though it's a big chilk. The first thought, the first way I understand, after the psak of Ezor Nefesh Bishkaga, Ein Lo Damin, right? The Bezim gave him a din, you know, of Ein Lo Damin, and that's why even Kol Adam is Potter Allah, right? But Bahali Chaso also, the Chazmish wants to say, he has no right to defend himself against the Rotzeach, you know, right? against the, the Gol Adam, certainly not to take his life. What's shot? Parallel to the Gol Adam, what Bahali Chaso would be. Yeah, but similarly, so that their Goldam is in the wrong. He's just, you know, he's just, he's just, he's just, he might he's be preserved. Wrong, but he can't be, he can't be blamed for his actions. 
Rosh. No, but, he, but why can't he have the, why can't, why can't the Rotsechra have the right of self-defense? He didn't get a Psaq yet. Yes. Okay. But not only that, there is the Rotsa who's running to the Arabic one must walk in his life. The Rotsa actually run faster. Right. So you know, it's a very short. Not only that, it says her upsack elsewhere on this page. It says her upsack elsewhere on this page. Right. Right. Uh, we're going to read it together. Right. There's a you know, you know Chazish was written. You know, if anyone's read Chazus, it's hard, safe to read. It's Havrakot, it's insights. And he pieced together in a lot of cottons of insights. Could be he didn't write the shtickle at the same time. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't read like a consistent safer. It's Havrakot, as you can see. You know, that, that, that's in any page of Chazunish. So it probably another, it got printed on the same page, but some other time in some other place, he wrote another psak. And it's, and it's on the opposing column on the same page. Let's read it together. Let's say Goadam bumped into you know, Balichoso before he ever had uh, he ever stood trial. Mitzvah In that case, just like Koadam Chayabnalov, the Khazanish is saying anyone else has a chi of gomer to be matzil. Because he hasn't had his trial. The Kodum Gmar Din Yesh Sveikos Harbe. You know, it makes good sense when it should be a Chi of Lahatu. Because there are many Sveikos. Doma Abiyah Ritzi Chaso Krovalo Ines. First of all, you know, maybe it was Krovalo Ones. There are a lot of types of Shogig that are Krovalo Ones. And then he is, you know, and then he's a free man and he's protected under the law. Maybe it was Krovalo Ones, right? Veikhi the Potomir goes with Godam Nargalab. All right, um. Right? And when he's potter from ghosts, then you know the Goldam is, is high for killing him, because he's potter from ghosts. Viduma Yosu Davar Mitzvah is another suffix. Maybe he was his Rebbe, and he was beating him up to do uh, something nice, right? You know, to you know, be Mechanechem. Yosu Davar Mitzvah is also potter from ghosts, right? Another suffix, right? Vod ain't din ghosts, Ella below Pirches Klau, no did. You know, if the guy has to die instantly, if the guy, you know, wavered between life and death. For a bit, even for a minimal amount, there's no chi of gos on that type of ritzicha bishkaigeg. Right? He's just giving all the pasas fakas of why, you know, no one should be allowed to take the law in their own hands before there was a psak din, right? Because there's so many svekas that go into whether the guy is really chai of gos, which makes him toast in the hands of the Goladam and everyone else, or not. Right? Uh, Vote me made bo. Hilkoch al kodam the kfos al kodam laatzilo. Everyone has to like subdue the kodam and save him. Vir the yeshlo din roidef mamish. The kodam has a din roidef mamish. U matzion san niraf miad kodam bin nafshol shol roidef. Avolach gemar din the gos. Yes, bechal zek gemar din chol dinei kodam. Vein adam rasha laatzilo miad kodam. El bedivrei bakosha. Right, but of course, after Gemar Din, self-explanatory. After Gemar Din, he has a Din Rotzeach Pishkava, and then we just ask him. But of course, we don't physically interfere with the Gada. An amazing thing: In the Chorus, the two Psukim are sicer each other. They're mamish, mutually exclusive. He, he, right? He gives. He says Bali Chaso. Everyone else has a Chi of Gomor to save the Rotzeach Pishkava from the Gada because he didn't, stay, he didn't have his trial yet. How do you know? Yes. Yeah, I do not know how to be Miyashi. That the Golhadam is eroded. The other paragraph says the Golhadam is not eroded. That the, well, you know, all, both of them are Right, right. Correct. No, it's. 
No, I mean, if a guy from Miatzad has to save him, I feel about the guy himself doesn't have the right of self defense. Yes, if not for that, I could understand that, the, that there's a mitzvah at Silo just because the Dol Adam, once again, would not be responsible for his actions. And that's why he's getting off. He's not a rodent because he's not responsible for his actions. You're still responsible, and Holy Soul is responsible to go ahead and make sure that he doesn't kill this guy. But because he's not a rodent, you're not allowed to go ahead and kill him. That I would understand. But the Chazanish actually says in one paragraph, that the Gola Adam has it in Rodev, the other one who says the Gola Adam does not have it in Rodev, while doing the same exact thing in the Holocaust. Yes, uh, I do not know how to be miyash of this. All right, but, uh, you know, but if, if you ask me, uh, I mean, I wonder how you feel, but intuitively, I would say that I accept, you know, I think the chilk is a good chilk, that lach or gemar din, ain lo domin, right? So lach or gemar din, the halacha would not be like the Mishnah Lamelech, and the Lachar Gemar Din, the Rotech Mishkan, does not have the right of self defense. But I would have thought, Lani is Daiti, that Bali Chaso, like the Chazir seems to be saying, Bali Chaso, the Mishnah would be right. right? And the, that the Rotech Mishkan should have the right of self defense. Mishnah Lachar Psak Din, you know, that he gets a din of Enlo Domim, and the Biskorov writes the same idea of Enlo Domim, gets a chaloist, he's a walking corpse. But that's Lachar Gemar Din. Same reason, you know, uh, why also, uh, you know, the, uh, a guy going out, Yotze Lihi Sakel, right, and someone else from the crowd pops him, right, of course, Eino Naragov, he has Mamash Din of Trefa, but that's because, you know, he got a Psak already, that he's a Bar Misa. <coughs> so, uh, so, once we're on this, let, let's go back to, uh, all right, so, the Divrei Tzachashish Tzorach Iyun, if I would have thought that, you know, Bali Chaso, the Loch is like the Mishnah of Melech, Lachar Gmar Din, the Loch is like the Chazanish, but uh, there seems to be a steer of Chazanish on this. <coughs> um, Alright, just, uh, where are we holding? Uh, Alright, just a couple more points. Uh, again, uh, uh, once we spoke about the Ian of, you know, Chalois, the, you know, uh, the, the, the Gmar Din gives a person a Bar Misa. Alright, so going back to the steer and Rambams, you know, uh, the. Uh, you know, the, uh, between Dine Yisro and Dine Bnei Noach, by Yochol Atzil, Bechad Meivorov. So in the in Chidusha Rabbi Kiva Eger, sometimes there are inserts from his son, Rabbi Shlomo Eger. And so in Ksuvis, Rabbi Shlomo Eger goes on this. He, want, he says a very cute cheshven. It's, it's a chak, right? And, and it ties together a few of the different halachas that we spoke about. So he says, if we are to assume that the halacha is indeed like the rivash that the Mishlamach brings, that by a nirdaf, a nirdaf could always go straight for the kill. Right? And uh, just the third party has to make the cheshbin, uh, you know, whether he's yochol atzilo vechad meivorov or not. So he says like this, it comes out that since the nirdaf could always go straight for the kill, right, <coughs> right, so the roidif hot adin trefa, because the nirdaf could always kill him. So even if the guy, the third party, has the shots up, you know, can I be matzo vechamei varav or not? But let's say you could have and you didn't, right? You killed the trefa. He's a trefa, right? Because the nirdaf could kill him unconditionally. So he comes up with this an amazing chap. Right? Because the Rambam passing, the very same Rambam you have in front of you, by a Ben Noach, just like their Chayev Misa on Yochel Lahatzel Becha Meivrov, also Chayev Misa if they kill a Trefa. So he says like this, Mushav Shapir. It's Mushav Shapir. Why the Rambam says, by Yochel Lahatzel Becha Meivrov, by us, it's only Bidei Shemayim, but by them, Neraglov, because by them also, they're Neragim ala Trefa also. And the guy, right, the Reynif is has a Din Trefa. Right? Because the Nirdaf, right? The Nirdaf could easily, uh, you know, could, always has the right to take him out directly. It doesn't have to shots up. So even the third party who is chayef to uh, estimate whether he could be Yochel Atzim Echad Meivarav or not, right? Yeah, but even at Sadeh, he's wrong. He could have and he didn't. He killed the Trefa. And that's why in Oneragov. But Bnei Noach Aneragim ala Trefa. Right? That's a says. So the Briskorov argues on that. For the reason that we, uh, <coughs> for reason that we just mentioned, you know, the, the idea, and he, he mentions Go Adam, he also mentions the idea of Yosei Li Sakel. This idea, right, that, the, uh, that a person should have a din trefer, right, 
because, you know, uh, be, because he's a bar misa, right? That's only when the Torah gave him a psak like that. So he says, like, Boba Machteris, and lo domin. So the Rotzeach Nefesh Bishkaga, he got a psak, and lo domin. There's a Maisa Bezin. The Yotze Lihisa Pel, and, and, and someone else, you know, takes a shot at him and kills him, you know, before they give him skila. He has a psak on him. Right? It's a Maisa Bezdin, or the Torah itself gave a Psach. It's a status. It's a status of Enlo Domi. Right? You know, the fact that the Nirdov has the right of self defense doesn't change the right of legal status. Right? So he says, therefore, he rejects from Shlomo Eger's Cheshben. Uh, he says, you know, it's cute, but he rejects it. Just because the Nirdov is allowed to take out, right? Is allowed to take out the uh, the uh, the the right if immediately. That doesn't give him a din trefer. The the potential to do so is you know that gives a person. It's only when there's a psak on him that he's a bar misa, right? So it's dafka by yoseli sokka. It's dafka by you know, when the Torah gave a din ain't well done by bar. You know the nearest privileges don't give a chalos din, right? Don't change the legal status of the quality of life of the right. Right, so he rejects that. Uh, he rejects that idea, <coughs> and uh, you know, uh, you know, um, you know uh, the uh, yeah. And Bapashtis, he's right. Simple raya. Right? What's a simple raya? Zimri could kill Pinchas. Right? And if anyone, Bapashtis, if well, if I read the Rosh and the Miri correctly, the third party that kills Pinchas is Neragolov. Right. Not just Tom, that he did something wrong. Right. So even though Zimri has the right, having the right of self-defense doesn't put a halos din that changes the quality of life, the halachic standing of the life of the pursuer. This din that you know, could kill makes you a trefa is only when there's a psak of chiv misa on the guy, not the privilege of self-defense. All right, we'll stop here. Thank you very much.